Hey guys, welcome back. This is Davin with Davin D Doodles, and I am about to get hit by not one, but two hurricanes. So I just want to kind of give you a little rundown here. A um, couple things I want to point out, but first I do want to say thank you for joining me. I really appreciate the support and I appreciate your time. It really means a lot. Um, so for those of you that have been watching the news, um, Tropical Storm Laura was hit, set to hit New Orleans sometime middle of next week and Marco was supposed to go to Texas. He decided he didn't want to do that and he's going to bring his happy little self up to New Orleans as a Cat 1. And although he's not hitting us directly, he is going to be a little bit to the west of us, which is still bad because the eastern side of the storms are the ones that cause the most rain. And we're already below sea level, so I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't had a real storm since moving here with my husband and it floods during like a regular rainstorm. So I'm a little bit uneasy. And what's worse is that Laura is still out there. She's gonna be coming up a couple days after him. And my only thought is we're already gonna be flooded from Marco. And then Laura's gonna come up behind him and we're gonna be like underwater. So I'm trying to keep myself calm, trying to keep myself relaxed, and I figured we could do some coloring together and help keep my mind on nicer and better things. So I do want to get that out of the way, and I also want to mention that I'm sorry for any background noise you're probably going to hear, especially if it's music. The neighboring apartment complex has already started their hurricane parties, and it's quite loud, so there's really nothing I can do about it. I'm so sorry. Um, but hopefully it's not too distracting and hopefully you can't hear it at all. But um, with that said, I am going to go ahead and I have a page picked out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it because I do take such a long time to color anything at all. But I wanted to try a color along for Nikki and Niagara. I'm going to leave a link to her channel below. I highly recommend you check her out. She's a lot of fun and she does a lot of flip throughs and lots of color alongs and vlogs that are always really interesting. So go check her out if you haven't already. Now the fire and ice challenge I'm sure most people that do coloring already know is that you have one side of your page as the fire colors and one side as your ice colors. Eyes being shades of blue and from what I understand the fire is shades of dark yellow orange and red so I picked this one because she is relatively symmetrical and this is going to be one of the easier pages in the book to do this is out of Jade Summer and Jade Summer is probably the easiest book that I have right now but usually even when I get a hold of something relatively simple I can make it complicated so I like her because she is symmetrical in a sense and I figured why not? We'll just try it. Maybe I'll do like the alcohol markers with you guys and show you the end product after I do like additional mediums. <sighs> because I do think she said this could be a mixed media piece. I don't think she said it has to be markers, but we'll see. We'll see what I even feel like doing because my mind is so like busy right now. I don't even know. Um, I decided I want to make her skin a little bit darker, but if you, I'm going to zoom you in here for a second. Okay, so if you notice on her face, she's got like some, it's either scaling or it's like fire damage. So there's something going on with her skin there, and I want to play with that a bit. Um, I think I'll do that in pencil. But I want to be mindful because my thought was I wanted to make her skin a darker color. I wanted to give her hair a nice dark color and I want to have her armor be brighter. I don't know why. I just want to. So I believe I tested this out yesterday. An R2. I do have a, um, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit more. If I don't zoom you out at least this much, my um, camera does a bunch of autofocus stuff and it looks like it's bouncing around. Sorry, I just made you go all crazy. This is my swatch sheet. So if you see me kind of referencing over to the left, it's because I have it just sitting over here and, you know, for me to look at. But I'm going to go ahead and just do this and if it doesn't come out right, you don't have to see this video. And if it does come out right, you know, I'll post it on Instagram, I'll leave a link so everybody can watch the finished product and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring and I already did the split down the center of the page and it is really symmetrical actually, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think that's just straight hair. 
かな And I'm really nervous about doing a nice dark skin color like this, but at the same time, it's kind of exciting. Because I really like doing characters with more pigment to their skin, but I've never done like a fire and ice challenge, so it's going to be a little complicated, especially for someone like me that struggles with color and like picking my colors. But at the same time, maybe having a more limited palette will actually be helpful for that. So what I'm debating now is do I want to... I am left-handed, you guys. Why do I always start closest to... Like, I need to go over here and I'm like... Ugh, my brain's all messed up. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a lot of my shading work in pencil and just go over a lot of this in the shade of red and then bring out the shading in pencil. Um, I'm going to do her horn the same color as her skin. Because I do know with this particular shade of red, I have a colored pencil in the Fa Fabric has style set that works really well with it. And it will actually really punch some dark colors in there that are just gorgeous. Um, and I don't know if this is chain mail. I think that would probably be chain mail. I don't think that's her skin. I think that's chain mail. So I think I'm definitely going to do a lot of, I think I'm, I think I am going to do a lot of this as a, um, I cannot think, oh my goodness, you guys saved me. I think I'm going to do a lot of this as a colored pencil for my shading. That was what I was trying to say. So, <sighs> breathe, it's okay. And I'm going, I guarantee you at some point, I'm going to end up putting red on this side of the page. I'm just going to do it because I'm so symmetrical. Like, it has to be symmetrical. It's just how I am. Um, but anyway, I went out with my husband today and we picked up some extra supplies just in case. We picked up batteries and we picked up um, an extra lantern for when the power inevitably goes out because the power here will go out for absolutely no reason at all sometimes. Like, we'll be in bed sleeping at like 4 a.m. and the power will just go out. No reason, it just goes out. So, I don't know if it's like somebody is drunk and just ran into a power line or if it's like from people using like exhausting all the power like for the air conditioners I don't know so I guarantee you the power here will go out which is part of the reason I'm trying to get this out now because I know Nikki is running this to like the end of August I believe and I don't want to be out of power for like a week and not be able to participate so it's like ah gotta scramble and I was so torn because I was looking through the Jade Summer coloring book and there were a couple images that were really interesting to do, but none of them were really speaking to me. And then I saw this one and of course it's super busy and I was like, I want to do that because I like to complicate everything. But you know, it is what it is and it's okay if it doesn't come out perfect. This is honestly just to kind of keep my mind at ease. Um, because trying to draw my own illustrations right now is not working. I'm just thinking like about what ifs, like what if this happens or what if this happens. So it's really just a way for me to calm down, you know, and, and that's really important for right now. And Anthony's just like, I don't know why you're so worried. Uh, stop. You're making me feel bad for worrying when, you know, there's a reason I think we should be worrying. This isn't like a, well, I don't know. It might be more tropical storm level when we get here, but I just worry about the flooding and the power outages. And, okay, so I apologize if you guys don't want to hear about this, but this is making me feel better. So I'm just kind of venting to you guys. I know there have been other people that have dealt with this. It's not exactly a new phenomenon. But I do live in New Orleans, and so when it comes to hurricanes, you know, we all kind of know 
what happened in New Orleans a while ago as far as hurricanes go with Hurricane Katrina. And that's always kind of on the forefront of my mind is like, what if something like that happens? And I was talking to a maintenance worker that came. He was here to fix our stove and they're really nice here, but a lot of the time they won't really start conversations unless you start talking to them. Cause I feel like they're just like, oh, they're not gonna wanna talk to me. Like they're just gonna want me to leave and like get out of here as soon as possible. Well, I started talking to the guy, you know, I wanted to be nice and like hospitable. And he was a super nice dude. Um, and we had a thunderstorm and I had seen the maintenance technicians out cleaning up a bunch of debris and like changing out the um, storm drains that get clogged up every time we have a storm. And I had asked him if that was part of his job. Like, do you do that? Do you, you guys have to do like a bunch of preparations when hurricanes come through? And he was telling me, you know, that's not part of what he does, but they do have a team dedicated to that. You know, just chatting on all that stuff. And he started saying, you know, you're not from here. Cause you know, I can tell by the questions. And I told him, you know, no, ain't my husband is, you know, and I just moved here for his job. And he's telling me these stories about when he was here for Katrina. And, you know, I had no idea. And he was just kind of like, I should have made this a different color, I think. Oh, well, it's okay. But he told me that he was working at the air base at the time. And Katrina was originally supposed to hit, but it was supposed to be a much lower category. So a lot of people didn't leave. And he told me he showed up to work and he didn't realize there was even a problem. Like he wasn't even watching the news or keeping track of it. And he didn't realize there was a problem until he got to work and all the um, jets were gone. And he's like, it was supposed to hit as like a category one or a two. We stay for those. And when it, you know, the day before basically it hit, it jumped up to like a category five and everybody, half the people didn't even realize it was at that point and the other half couldn't leave. And he said it was basically just chaos. And I felt so bad because the only thing going through my mind, I'm picking out a color, I'm sorry. The only thing going through my mind is I don't know what I would even do. Like, I really don't. I think I would just like curl into a fetal position and cry. Um, do I want her armor to be more red or yellow? I think I want it to be more yellowish. <laughs> and her weapons? Because I want her to be red. Mm, now I'm torn. Oh my god, you guys, I really don't know what to do. I know what I want to do with this. That's a big piece though. Ugh. So yeah, it's, it's just thoughts like that. Like it could be expected to be one thing and then suddenly it's not, you know? And uh, I don't want to be here when that happens. I, I want to be far, far away, but it's okay. I kind of want this to be I want this to be more of a yellow instead of an orange. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that my dirty blonde. I use this color all the time for my blonde character. He is like my favorite character ever. <laughs> He's so sweet. And uh, this is a, a color that's really easy to shade in. So I think I want to use this. It also kind of looks like it could be bone or something, and that's what I want to go for. Like a bone look. So, I'm sure there are other people out there with their hurricane horror stories. I would love to hear them. Please uh, mention them down below. Nothing sad, but I mean, you know, if you've been in a similar position or you have any thoughts. I'd love to hear that stuff. Part of me is almost like anticipating it, like a little bit excited because I do love storms. But the other part of me is very well aware 
that uh, these kinds of things can get out of hand pretty quickly. So it's like a, like I don't mind a thunderstorm, but this is something I don't really want to be woken up in the middle of the night with like a, you know, a tree through my window kind of thing. But speaking of that, I have a giant garden, like a stoop garden is what I call it. And it's basically a bunch of containers on my garden stoop. That made no sense, you guys, I'm so sorry. It's basically a bunch of garden containers on my gigantic porch. And I have a bunch of, or I have some bell peppers, I have tomatoes, and a whole freaking lot of um, eggplant. And these plants are all very big. They cannot come inside. So I had to leave them outside. And what we did was we just kind of like tied them together. Like Anthony, my husband, drilled holes into the containers. And we kind of just like tied them together in pairs. And we pushed them up against the wall as far as we could because... I hear somebody outside because quite honestly like we can't bring them inside they're flying down the stairs and um they're heavy enough that i don't think it'll be a problem like i think it'll be fine just leaving them out there especially if they're tucked into like the corners and stuff because if there's like i don't know if there's winds bad enough to lift up like 100 pounds like it's it's going anyway and uh you shouldn't be parked right out front of my house like my apartment anyway because quite honestly there's gonna be a ton of flooding right there it gets so bad that um you can't walk out there without being like knee deep in water during a thunderstorm so don't park there you need to be up on higher ground on the curbs elsewhere which always makes me laugh because we're in freaking New Orleans where is there higher ground I mean you can't park on the levee you park on the levee you're gonna be told to move so you have the levee you have um, like literally a curb that's like five inches off the ground and that's where people park and I mean I guess it's better than nothing but you're gonna get stuck like that gets muddy because people are parked there and you're gonna get stuck. But it's not my problem, it's not my business, so I just, whatever. One of my neighbors is parked right out front right now though, and it's like, if it starts raining really bad and his car is still there, I might have to go knock on his door and just say hey. Unless you're trying to flood out your car, you, you need to go, you need to move. And hope there's a spot available by them because it's not assigned parking. It's first come, first serve. And the spots are filling up quick. So I just hope he's able to find a space. So there's that. We went to the store today to pick up a few last minute things and that was not quite as chaotic as I thought it was going to be. It was actually fairly nice. People were not like pushing each other over or anything. Mm, where's this color? Here it is. I was fully anticipating it to be like just complete chaos everywhere. But it really wasn't. It was actually very like people were very um congenial I, I don't know they were very nice they stood in line they didn't like you know jump in front of each other or anything even at the gas pump I was pretty surprised like nobody was like trying to cut in line or beat somebody to the gas pump which I'm sure that would have changed if it had been like a bigger category of a storm because we bought extra batteries we bought some water and stuff and then we also um, stopped and got gas just in case but we're hoping we don't need it. We're not anticipating needing something like that, but you never know. And we like to be prepared. They're gonna use Y2 for this. Excuse me, now I'm almost sniffly. So it's, it's interesting for sure. 
And I'm trying not to take forever to make my color selections, but it's hard. Because I like to be very precise. And this is like, ah, I'm just kind of going with the flow and this is weird and I don't like it. But yeah, this is going to have to be a uh, very, this is going to be a long video, I'm sorry. And I hope I can find something else to talk about. It's definitely gonna have to be something where I show you like the finished product later, I think. Can you guys hear that? That's so loud. That's probably gonna be the most irritating thing. Like right now my head is okay and I'm not really bothered by much, but if they get going and I have a headache, and the storm has passed and it's hot and there's like power outages and stuff. I'm not going to be happy listening to that mess. I am, um, I like the quiet and that is anything but quiet. And I don't really understand, like, I don't know. It's just the party culture, I think, because it's New Orleans as a whole. Oh, it's the, I was like, I keep seeing words. Why am I seeing words? It's because it's on the other side. down here. I wonder if these are supposed to be like dragon scales. Like I know she's supposed to be a dragon because she's got horns and stuff. At least I think that's what she's supposed to be but it's so strange like maybe she's half dragon? What do you guys think? Is this a half dragon character? What are those called? I really, really want them to make another dragon book. I would be so happy. I cannot wait to start working on the, like, I have one that I'm eyeing really hard and it's a um, dragon picture and there's just so many I love. And if you guys have recommendations, please let me know of any like really good dragon books. I think there's one that I saw um, being flipped through what was it, Dragonology? Um, it looked really interesting, but I'm really looking for something like that because the dragons in this book are beautiful. Like, if they would just do more like this, I'd be all over it. Mm, I hope this is a dark enough yellow, like, to qualify. And I also hope I'm not gonna be, like, breaking the rules for the Fire and Ice Challenge by um, using pencils on this too. I think, I'm really pretty sure she said we could use whatever we wanted though. I probably should have watched again before I started, but oh well. Sorry, Nikki. And I've seen a lot of, um, really creative pieces or coloring pages being posted. And those are, like, I really like what other people are doing. Curious how many that are actually gonna participate. I think I'm going to stop here with that for now. I might do, I'm going to try not to touch it and I'm going to touch it, watch, I'm going to touch it. I'm going to put my hand right in it. Don't touch it. No. I'm trying to focus, when I focus I get quiet. 
There we go. That wasn't so bad. Okay. So I really need some opinions. What do you guys think? Are is this chain mail? I really I'm gonna zoom you in. I really think this is chain mail. Like I think this is these things are chain mail. But I think I'm gonna color it red anyway. No, because this is red. So I'm gonna color it like a dark orange, maybe. Oh well, um, okay, I'm gonna zoom you back out. Back out, out, out. Okay, can you see? Okay, um. I've got a bunch of yellows. I wanna do Y5, but I'm scared. I'm gonna do Y5. I'm afraid to use these colors. <laughs> these are from like my um, 72 set and I don't want them to run out. I love these colors. Does anybody else have that phobia when you use um, alcohol markers? Like a cheap set that doesn't have replacements or refills? Do you just get f afraid that it's gonna dry out and then you're not gonna have anything. I do. I have that a lot. This is kind of fun though, just kind of going with it and not thinking about it quite as much. Just not thinking about anything really. So. Awesome. Okay. I think those are her claws. We're gonna make those red, which was, I believe, I'm gonna hope, is R2. Um, see, I really love these markers, but I'm gonna cry when I eventually, like, bleed some of them out. What are your favorite markers? I know there's a lot of people that like the Cali Arts. I've been really tempted to try those, but if it doesn't have a brush tip, I'm not going to use it. Like, I just won't. So I haven't invested anything in that um, because I'm afraid that, yeah, it might be a nice... Oh. I'm afraid it's, like, going to be a... It'll... Oh, I hope that's the right color. It'll be a fine marker, I'm sure. And they seem to have a good variety of colors. But where I get concerned is, like, Oh, that wasn't the right color. It's okay. It is okay. <laughs> so where I get worried though is like, I don't want to buy especially a big set of, well, that is the right color, okay. I don't want to buy a big set of markers that I might not use if I don't like the way they operate. You know, like, I am not going to, like, Right here, I'm using the brush nib for some reason. Um, even though I should technically probably be using the chisel, I'm using this. And like, it's more fun this way for me. See, I was almost gonna follow the curve of her leg and uh, that's where the line is, it's tripping me up. Maybe that's why it's a challenge. So if anybody, I do have art and fly markers. I don't know if I've posted my haul video yet. I might be posting that on Monday instead. Hopefully we'll still have power Monday morning. Um, but I do have some art and fly markers because I wanted to test them out because they're refillable. They're not quite as expensive as um, other markers that are out there. They're definitely more of a um, transition brand, I would say. They're definitely not Copic expensive. I would never be able to justify buying Copic markers, like just for, for me, okay? I do illustrations and stuff like that, but unless I was selling my work to somebody, I don't think I would ever be able to justify having Copic markers. It just, they're too expensive. And yeah, they, I've heard really great things about them, like, 
you know, refills and like blending very easily and things like that. But fact of the matter is, I consider them to be for someone for a much higher skill set than myself and I don't need them. So I'm going to keep using my cheaper markers that I love to death and just hope I can find a brand that either does refills, maybe Ohuhu will start doing refills one day, or, you know, just find a brand that I want to stick with, like Ohuhu, that um, I don't mind dumping a lot of money into. <laughs> I hope that dries lighter because that is really close to her skin tone and that's not what I wanted. It's like really close to her skin tone actually. That's supposed to be orange. You guys, it's supposed to be orange. It's not orange. <laughs> um, see, I want to use like a really light yellow here, but I already used my light yellow. And I don't have a much lighter. I mean, I do have... I'm just not sure how much lighter it's going to be than that. I'm gonna make this kind of like its bone. My thought is she needs more protection for her legs. She's a dragon warrior thing. Has anybody else colored this page? Please let me know if you have because I'm really curious what you did with it. I'm really excited for the stained glass too. All right, so we've got this going. I kind of want to make, where's that white? What's so crazy is that this is almost the exact same color too. And those are different colors. I wonder why it shows up that way in this book. Reasons, that's why. Has anybody else noticed your colors get really kind of muddled? Are these little dragon wings on her boots? I think this reminds me of the bat symbol. <laughs> yeah, I'm a nerd. It's okay. You can say it. I'm a nerd. Okay, so we have that. I really wish I could go lighter. But I think I'm going to go with the wire too. Go a bit darker. Or I can put an actual orange in there. I'm going to do Y4. Where's Y4? <laughs> so this is one of those markers I bought in this, like I bought a skin tone set. And this was actually in a skin tone set. But I think this works so well for others, other colors also. I use this in a um, recent illustration, nothing to do with the skin tone, but it was really, really beautiful. And you could actually find the link to that um, in my page if you want to check it out. Um, it was the Avatar illustration. And I used several skin tones in that that were actually not supposed to be skin, you know. I used the skin tones in that for things that weren't skin tones at all, like um, his boots and all kinds of fun stuff. It was really pretty cool. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to like separate the colors a bit and not make them so touching. I guess. I do want to keep kind of like a theme for like the bone. So I'm going to make a lot of this the bone color, but I want to give like elements of orange as well to kind of keep visual interest. Listen to me talking like I'm an artist and know what I'm doing. <laughs> I also feel like I'm kind of just throwing the entire kitchen sink in here. I honestly think the blue side is probably going to be easier for me than this is, but we'll see. I, I do favor blues though. I love blue. It 
it's much easier for me to use. Um, and I love grays, like that's my favorite color to work with. So I think I'm going to do YR2, since it's so close to this, I think I'm going to do that. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I hope everything's okay out there. My husband's out there working out. And he, uh, I don't know if he just had like an accident. I don't think so. It sounded like something fell off the counter. So I think he's good. And this is like surprisingly difficult for me. Working within such a limited range. I kind of, I feel like I did like a last minute thing too. Does anybody else ever do that? Like wait la to do something last minute and then you weren't quite as happy with what you did? I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. Though it really isn't. It's more or less me just kind of rushing because I want to get it to you guys and like participate. But Laura, no Marco came out of freaking nowhere and was like, hi, I want to party. And uh, now I'm afraid I'm not going to have power. So it's like, hurry, hurry, get it done. Ah. Okay. Um. It's not looking too bad, I don't think. This definitely came out more orange than the other stuff did. I definitely like that more. So... You know what, this needs to be Y2. I'm finding, finding things to change. And this is probably like why it takes me forever to color anything because I changed my mind halfway through. Does anybody else have that problem? I was literally doing a Jade Summer Fairy. I was just coloring in for the book. And I was like, oh, it's coming along so nice. It's looking great. Changing my way mind halfway through for the lighting for everything. I was so irritated with myself. Like, I couldn't believe I did that. But I mean, it came out really, really well. But it was just make up your mind and just stick to it. Stop having all these ideas. Anybody else? like I feel like that's an ADD type of problem that only I have because everybody else that does these kind of colors like and coloring pages and stuff just seem to zoom through it no problem maybe it's just me though so we're gonna make this kind of like an extension of her shoulder plate um, give it one here too And we'll make this kind of like, yeah, so this is kind of an, also an attachment to it. I feel like this kind of goes over her shoulder, her shoulder, her breastplate goes over her shoulder plate. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to color this. And I'm sorry if my hand's in the way right now. I... Um, this is just how I hold my pencils. I try to keep it out of the way to the best of my ability, but sometimes I can't. So. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. This looks really brown. But it dries pretty nice. This still looks brown. Whatever. It's going to be brownish orange. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to be so disqualified. Okay. And I do like it because it, um, seems to for sure just kind of 
it gives it more of an earthy tone, I think. Which I like. And I know we can use like black and white to embellish. Do I want to do that? No, I think I'm going to use this. Kings. And I'm going to put it right here. Like I said, guys, everything but the kitchen sink. And this stuff is technically yellow and orange. I just, I don't know if it just looks darker because I've got it on top of red. Or, like, I, I don't know. It's my inexperience talking. Please don't hate me. Don't hate me. Okay. I gotta figure out what to do with these guys. I do kind of like the way this looks though. What do you guys think? She looks like she's bad already. She's ready to go. And this is all going to be the color of her skin, which was art too. And I'm probably gonna go through and like darken it up real good. Um, so if that's gonna be red, we need to do something that's gonna pop against this. I'm really thinking the mace. So hear me out, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this before I change my mind or overthink it. We're just going to do it. So how are you guys? Is anybody else going to be affected by the big storm? I hope not. And if you are, I hope that you're prepared. I hope that everybody is going to be okay But I'm sure you guys will be. I'm sure we all will be. Does anybody have anything fun going on? Like, I want to hear about that. Does anybody have any vacations planned? Um, is anybody going to... I don't know. Is anybody currently going to be going to school? Like, I know people probably have children and stuff in school, too. I'm really curious about how that's working. Like, I don't have any children, and I'm currently not in school. Um, I finished my bachelor's, got, what was it, three or four years ago? Um, so I'm just really kind of curious, like, if anybody is in college, like, how is the college experience with everything that's going on? Do you know, are you still getting the best out, of, like, the most out of it? Um, or if you have kids, are they in school? Are you doing homeschooling? I was actually homeschooled throughout high school. I begged my mom to homeschool me. I did not want to go to the local high school. I do not handle pressure and stress very well. And I was harassed a lot um, in middle school and I just, I couldn't really deal with it. Um, so she actually did let me homeschool and I was much happier and I was able to actually like do my own curriculum. I did what needed to be done. I loved it. Like I did not care if I didn't get to see people. I was totally fine sitting in my room doing my schoolwork and getting what needed to be done done. I didn't miss the high school experience at all. Um, no, there are people, there are ways for anybody that is homeschooling their kids. There are like homeschool groups, especially now with social media, it's probably way easier to connect. Um, I know there's lots of people that do, you know, like, um, they get together kind of like play dates and stuff like that. And, you know, they let their kids socialize. I was allowed to partake in high school sports if I wanted to, but I didn't want to, so I didn't. Um, so I'm sure that hasn't changed either, though the whole sports situation might be drastically different right now because of, you know, the world events. So, I, you know, I'm just kind of curious what you guys are doing as far as that. And, you know, do you like it? Do you find it more bothersome? Because I'm part of a, um, support group page for like military spouses 
and a lot of them are doing homeschooling now and it's like the poor moms they're going crazy but they come up with really creative ways to keep their kids kind of like motivated and in line and stuff because a lot of their kids are just kind of having it thrust upon them and they don't want to be homeschooled and from my own personal experience with that as well um, because I had a friend and my sister if they are social butterflies and they don't want to be homeschooled they might not do as well um, you know as antisocial me that it was just fine sitting by myself and in, in reading and writing so that's actually always been something I've done since I was like really young I've always written and I've always um, done a lot of reading so I'm not sure is there anybody else like big readers out there I have a huge book collection I love fantasy books that's like my thing I love it <laughs> and I'm sure other people do too but you know uh, we're gonna do R1 if I can find it there it is everything but the kitchen sink you guys so yeah I do love to read um, I don't know if anybody else does, so if you do, you should comment down below and let me know what you read. And, uh, how big your book collection is, roughly. Do you read Kindle books? Or do you have a physical, like, library? It's always been a dream of mine to have, like, an actual library in my house. And once I get back to Pittsburgh, where I own my house, I am totally going to have one. I hear more music. I'm pretty sure that's my husband, though. I think he's listening to classical music cooking. He's the chef of the family, so he likes to listen to um, music while he cooks. I can't cook. Oh, I shouldn't have done that red. I think it'll be light enough compared to the dark red of the wings, so. See, this is what happens when I don't plan, you guys. You should have stopped me. Why didn't you stop me? You should have been like, Devin, that's red. You're going to be coloring a bunch of red behind that red. <laughs> this was not a smart idea. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We got this. Okay. Um, we're gonna do one more. Maybe I should do that different color. No. No, we're not. We're gonna do the same color. So I feel bad because I feel like I talk loud when I record videos and I don't want to bother my neighbor. I don't know if she can actually hear me though. And she's so nice, I don't know if she would tell me if she could. <laughs> but it's funny because there's actually not a lot of noise, um, like transition between the floors but if you go outside you can hear like what's going on in someone's bedroom on the second floor like you will hear your tv you will hear like people talking so these are just some crappy windows i think so i know that every time like one of my neighbors comes down the stairs which are right outside my window people hear me talking but that's okay they get a free preview to the show Alright, this actually isn't looking too bad. I do color really slow, so I'm really sorry. I'm trying. Okay. And like, this is just straight coloring. Could you imagine if you guys sat here with me and I did like all of it? Pretty sure you would kill me. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do her and then I'll come back with the finished product. That's going to take me forever. Um, this was the color. I'm just really not sure how to do her wings. That's going to freak me out. Because it's all the way down here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn you guys. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll let you chase me. But you're gonna get blocked, so I can't do anything about that. I'm so nervous to do this. It's 
So something I've noticed a lot is that there's a lot of helicopters outside lately. Um, and I know it's just because of the storm. See, this is why I don't use a chisel tip. What the hell? Heck. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Um, I know that they're for the storm. But, like, you hear them all the time suddenly. And it's a little nerve-wracking. Because I know they're checking for, like, the boats to make sure that they've evacuated the marinas and stuff. Like, I know that's what they're doing. But... It's just kind of like, it makes it more real, I guess. Because they normally won't do that for just tropical storms, you know? This is more of a, a big boy situation. And you can tell because of that. <laughs> so it's like, okay, they're for real. And I apologize if my face is in the camera at all. I don't think I am. But I might be. So I will say that I did manage, oh god, that's gonna blot. I did manage to do some illustrations yesterday. And I did my little koi boy, Duncan, and he is so cute. He is cuddling up with a little manatee pup that he finds. Because, you know, he's Duncan, he, he manages to find these things, no problem. He's gonna find it if it's there. And uh, I love Duncan, he's, he's such a free spirit little dude. I can't wait to do um, the illustration with him and my other original character. I've already got it like um, sketched out and I have it on my Instagram if you're interested. The Instagram will be down below. And it's just him hanging out of the bank talking to this original character of mine whose name is Seb. And um, I'm just, I'm so excited to color that in. It's, it's ridiculous. But it's gonna be something that takes a long time and it's gonna be something that I have to really be patient with. And you know me and patience. Like this wing, you can already probably see it's gonna be a mess. Cause I don't do patience. up it's still freaking me out every time I see more of like those words coming through on the page I really hope that goes away so what are you guys working on right now are you doing more like um diamond painting are you working out of a specific coloring book I'd love to hear which one you guys are working out of. Um, I'd also really be interested in seeing um, maybe your own work on this page. If you guys want to share that with me on Instagram somewhere, I'd be really interested to see what other people do. Oh man, this is a juicy marker and it smells... And it smells like it. Something I always admire is when I watch people that color on YouTube. And you guys are just like, streak. And it's perfect. <laughs> and it's like, no, no streakiness or anything like that. And I'm like over here struggling to get a single pass. It's so cool though. Okay, I do have to ask. I'm really, really, really tempted to try this, but I know, like, I know it'll go bad, but I, I need to ask and see if anyone has been successful doing this. Has anyone used their Jay Summer coloring book and done watercolor with it? I know that the paper is not good for it. Like, I, I get that. Um, it's not good for a lot of things. However, it is... There's some really pretty images, and I want to use watercolor, but I, I just, I don't think it would handle well, and I'm really curious if you guys have ever been successfully doing that. Have you ever been able to put watercolor on this paper and not have it destroy part of your book? Please let me know down in the comments below, because if you have, 
I might need to try it. And I would love to see the results because I love watercolor art. So if you're, you know, a watercolorist also, I am more than happy to take a look at your stuff. Careful. This is coming out a little bit better than I thought it was, to be honest. I, I was thinking it was already going to be messed up by now. Like with my skills with the chisel tip, I was expecting a hot mess, which is it's going to become that way, but um, it is what it is. We can only be worried about one thing at a time right now, and right now it's going to be a hurricane. I don't know what all that noise is outside. I don't think it's the party. I'm wondering if people are like moving stuff like off their porches. I'm pretty sure they thought we were nuts um, earlier because we got like an early start on it because I didn't want to worry about it now and uh, I'm pretty sure that's what all that noise is. So for anybody that doesn't know, um, I do like to watch video game playthroughs and stuff like that. And one of the things I enjoy watching is um, my husband played Demon Souls. And after that, we actually found a YouTuber, I can't remember his name, that did like challenges and stuff for Dark Souls, Demon Souls, the entire Souls series. And these games are notorious for being like super hard and all that. And so he does like challenge runs, he'll do like crazy mods and things like that to change the game to make it even harder. And the reason I mention this is because there's dragons and stuff in this world. And it's just fascinating. And this kind of reminds me of it because there's an area called An Orlando. And it really reminds me of like she would be some sort of boss in this Anne Orlando place. Um, protecting the ruins or something and trying to eat your character's soul or something. Something like that. Something dark and spooky. Because if you don't know me very well or you know it's your first time to the channel at all, I like things that are dark and spooky. I love watching Resident Evil. I have never played Resident Evil, but I will watch someone play it all day long. Um, for a long time I was hooked on watching a speedrunner, I can't remember his name either, Bakba, maybe? He's on Twitch, and he does like tons of Resident Evil playthroughs and mods, and I love watching his stuff. He's so fun. And it just reminds me of like, just makes me think of like spooky things. And I do a lot of fan art for Resident Evil, which there are plenty of videos on my channel if you want to take a look at those. Um, I do really like doing it. And I love horror movies. Though I don't sit down for movies much anymore. I don't have much patience for much of anything. Like my, I just get bored. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has that problem or is it just me? Like I will have to have something in my hands. I will be writing or coloring or something and have no idea what's going on in the movie. And I'm a very bad movie um, person. I didn't used to be. I used to be like all into like the Halloween movies and oh my god, Alien is still my favorite movie. Though I was terrified of it as a kid because of my dad. Please do not let your children watch Alien when they are like five. 
Not a good idea. Just putting that out there for anybody that doesn't know yet. <laughs> do not let your children do that. Um, I was like terrified of that movie. And I still don't like aliens, do you know that? Okay, so some people are scared of ghosts. I am not afraid of ghosts. I get, I'm interested in ghosts. Okay, we'll put it that way. I'll save my spooky ghost experiences for October. Um, but one thing I cannot do is aliens. If you try to make me watch anything with aliens, like true life documentaries, or true horror stories or like experiences or abductions or anything, I can't. I will not watch it. I just freak out. There's something so creepy about the idea of aliens to me and I don't know what it is. Um, but I've always been that way. Like, I guess it's the idea that when it comes to like the abductions and stuff, like you're not even safe in your own home that is really unnerving to me but then Anthony pointed out one day he's like but when your ghost shows and stuff you're not safe in your own home either because there's something in there with you but I guess it's like at least you're not being taken out of your home in some place you can't escape like maybe that's what it is I don't know um so yeah like I'm, I'm good with like Bigfoot stories and all that and I'm good with ghost stories I love ghost stories um, I'll go like I said I'll go more into the ghost stuff I think in October for you know spooky story time spooky scary all that stuff but me and aliens I will I will not I can't I'm such a baby I'm like scared of everything. I'm thinking about that now. It's like I'm scared of sharks. I'm scared of what? I'm scared of sharks. I'm scared of snakes. I'm scared of alligators. I'm scared of bears. I really am scared of everything. I'm surprised my own shadow's not in there somewhere. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so we have some red and it's exactly as I feared the red didn't stick out enough from here or from here but I think I can fix that with colored pencils or I could go darker with these I might even go darker here to have it pop out more I'm gonna do that I'm gonna actually gonna layer it I don't care if I shouldn't because it's shade summer I'm going to do it um, so we'll do it here She's gonna look black now. This might not work. <laughs> I might not have a video after all, but it's okay. That is so dark. <laughs> I mean, technically I haven't broken the rules. Technically, I am allowed to use black. See, this just throws me off. Her posture here is like so... I just want to follow that leg down, but I can't. I stay on the line. chisel though. Let's see what it looks like when it dries. Because I think I like this better because you could already see it better on camera. See we're rolling with the punches. We got this. Pop in here. 
I have the feeling this is one of those really juicy ones that's gonna like pop when I open my cap and it's gonna go all over my picture. <laughs> I have my desk covered in alcohol ink because of that. And I actually had that happen a couple times on one of my um, recent pictures. And I was kind of upset about it, but it, you know, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's fine. This is looking pretty streaky, but I still prefer it to how it looked before. This at least doesn't look, um, black. Well, no, it does. It looks the same. Same as it does there, so it's okay. I'm gonna do the balls, and then... I don't know, I might not be able to, like, have you guys watch all this with me, because this is gonna take me forever. I think it's too big of a picture. I was too ambitious to do a color and chat with you that wasn't... Even with it just straight colored, I think it's going to take me another hour. I don't know that I have that much to say. And you know what just popped into my head? Did anybody else watch Doug as a kid? You know that theme song? The one that's inevitably stuck in your head now? Yeah, that's popped in my head for no reason. And uh, if I could put it on my video without being copyright struck, I think I would. <laughs> I was always kind of torn on Doug. Like, I, I don't know that I ever... I didn't hate it, but it was, it was pretty mellow for a show. Like, nothing really happened. And Doug was just kind of like, meh. I do see what the creators were going for though. It was pretty cool to do like a um, actual diverse kind of world and make it literally just about this kid's life. But the fact of the matter is he was little and well, middle school age, I think. And he wasn't very interesting. Even though they tried to like incorporate his imagination. So let me know, were you a Doug fan? I remember liking um, Nickelodeon shows and stuff like that, but not so much Doug. All right, so let me know. How do you think she looks? Is she good? Does she look better now than she did before? She'll look much better with there's, when there's layers and stuff. And I'm going to take a break. I'm going to check the weather and see what we're looking at and I'll probably, maybe I'll do a part two and we'll do the second half of her because we're running really long already. But I'm not gonna make you watch the entire video with me or with the entire coloring process. But so far I'm gonna check in, gonna get something to drink, maybe get something to eat, try to relax and rest my eyes and come up with a plan for side two. The icy side, which I'm hoping will go a little bit better than this one did. So stick with me, hang in there, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I hope you didn't miss me, which of course you didn't, but uh, basically what it comes down to is I have finished the fireside. Um, I went ahead, I fed the dog, I took her for a walk, I had my own dinner, and finished this up off camera. Um, so far, nothing yet, nothing from my good friend Marco, but I do need to go ahead and cut this video short. I'll probably do a part two for the ice side, since I don't want to hold you hostage forever, basically. And I do need to do some last minute things before Marco shows up. So I will say though, I've noticed why this is a challenge. At first, I thought it was going to be easy. I was like, oh, it's not going to be too bad at all. I mean, it's just reds, oranges, and yellows, and then blues. Like, why is that hard? That was my novice talking, because now that I've colored her, she has completely fallen into her background. And I hate it. It is driving me absolutely nuts. 
So I'm going to do some pencil work on her. I think that's allowed. If not, I'm sorry, Nikki. I'm going to do it anyway. Um, you can disqualify me. That's okay. But I'm going to basically do some pencil work on her and try to bring her forward a little bit more. I'll still be using the fire colors. I still will only be using that black and white. But I really should have been more picky about where I put things instead of just throwing everything everywhere. But that's why I'm coloring and coloring books. That's why I'm improving as an artist overall because you have to make mistakes like this to learn from them. So I will say this is a huge learning curve. I'm probably not going to learn from the eye side. I'm probably just going to kind of mirror what I did over here and try to make it with the blues. Um, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I will put more thought into it. We'll see where my headspace is at. And at some point, I really have to learn how to do larger spaces with alcohol markers because the streakiness of this wing is just driving me crazy. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I do want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and dealing with my whining about these storms and my anxiety and just kind of rambling. Um, but I really do appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite dragon coloring book is because I'm really looking to invest in some more images similar to these, well, with dragons. And I'm just looking to expand my collection and I'm really kind of falling in love with the dragon art. So let me know what your favorite dragon coloring book is and I hope to see more hashtags for the Nikki Fire and Ice color along because I mean there's some good images out there and I know someone's got more in their coloring books and they're probably just hiding them because they look like mine. So bring them out, let's see them and I cannot wait to see what everyone else has done and I will do my best to get you a part two before the end of days. Thank you so much guys, you guys be safe and I will hopefully see you a little bit later this week.